broccoli medley there. hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel so my name is Catherine. if you're new and if you're not new thank you so much for returning for another video today's going to be a monthly reset so it's currently um september 24th and i'm doing a monthly reset for october and i'm so excited i love the beginning of a new month and just kind of that fresh start feel the things i'm going to be sharing include a healthy grocery haul and um, just kind of what my goals look like for this upcoming month. It's been a good while since I've set any specific health and wellness goals, so I'm really excited for that. And yeah, I am excited to bring you guys along. This is my, my first time doing a video like this. I definitely got some inspiration from Carter Sullivan. She is here on YouTube and does monthly resets. Definitely check her out. I will link her in the description box below. The pavement and concrete on a bridge you brought to me we're gonna run through my goals for the month of October and I already showed you guys what this looks like. Um, so for health and wellness, I wanna do two cycle workouts and three strength workouts per week. I've really been enjoying cycling. I feel like it's such a fun way to switch up my routine. It really gets my heart rate up there. Uh, it's great for cardiovascular health. So many benefits, low impact, lower amount of stress on the joints compared to something like running. I wanna achieve 10,000 steps per day, kind of as my minimum. I do have Ollie, so we definitely go on our walks and then I start my one of my jobs next week so I'm going to be up and moving around and doing a lot of walking next thing is morning meditation um so I've been listening to just guided meditations on Spotify um so I want to continue that practice um, especially first thing in the morning and then writing down my gratitude and affirmation so i actually have a journal which it's in a different spot right now that's where i keep my gratitude um the affirmations i haven't done daily affirmations uh, since i switched over to using a regular journal because i used to use i think it was a five minute day journal and that's where i would put my daily affirmations um, but i don't have that anymore I actually got rid of it whenever we moved, so I'm going to start implementing that with my gratitude journal. So I put go to sleep by 11 p.m., um, preferably by 10.30, but honestly, every night it varies, but I just want to at least be falling asleep by 11 o'clock. Around 9 o'clock, I start like unwinding and getting ready for bed. The goal is to go to sleep by 11 so I can get enough rest. I've been waking up around 7 o'clock for the past few weeks. Um, so I want to make it an earlier wake up time to 6.30 just because I am going to be starting my PTA jobs. I need to be up earlier so I have more time to accomplish the things that I want to do in the morning. So I don't know what time I'm going to be working out at. I don't know if it's going to make more sense to work out in the morning or work out like at night after work. I don't know. Let me know what you do. Let me know what your routine is right now. And then I want to meal prep once a week. So making sure that one of the meals I'm like meal prepping, whether that's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and it doesn't have to be for the whole week. I'm just saying for at least a few days, like for example, meal prepping oatmeal for about four days for breakfast that makes things easy on me it reduces the amount of time i have to spend in the morning making something waffles are such an easy thing to meal prep because then you just throw them in the toaster the next morning when you're ready to have them the next thing is skincare every morning and night i've been doing skin cycling for five days now um this is based off of dr whitney bow's like recommendations of a four-day routine if you want to see the whole routine like everything i use i will link that video down in the description box for you and then one day a week without social so instagram youtube tiktok i don't know if i should have put youtube in there but i'm gonna try to challenge myself because i love watching youtube videos and i love playing them in the background of like when i'm doing things or like i'm gonna challenge myself with that because i do love youtube i feel like it's so easy to just get wrapped up in social media and scrolling and you know just going through your feed mindlessly be more mindful about that um, and taking a day off Okay, so for jobs, I want to build my caseload to 30 visits per week for my PTA job. So starting off with home health, I need to slowly start like building my caseload and hopefully by the end of October, I can have 30 visits per week. Ideally working Monday through Thursday if I can, which is how the pediatric home health company that I'm working for, that's how they like to have it set up, but Monday through Thursday, Friday is just a makeup day if um, anybody missed visits for whatever reason. 
So I'm gonna apply that same principle to my geriatric home health job. And then I wanna film and upload three videos per week for YouTube. So it's been two weeks now that I've consistently uploaded three times a week to YouTube and I'm honestly really proud of myself. It's just a whole nother, it's a whole nother beast. It's a whole nother ball game. The longest part of doing YouTube is the editing process. It can take a lot of hours, like up to 10 hours for one video of editing um, and that's because my videos aren't super long so I'm definitely trying to get more efficient with that but honestly just really trying to continue to make it a priority make you guys a priority it's so fun to film and I feel like filming is my favorite type of content creation to make as opposed to like photos apparently it takes three weeks to build a habit so I'm about to go on week three going strong if you guys have been following me for a while you know that I previously sold workout programs I have my own online business I want to create a new workout guide just a four day week four week strength training program. Um, so stay on the lookout for that. I'm gonna be slowly working on it through the month of October. Post three posts to my Instagram feed per week and one reel. And this is a place that I kind of lack in terms of like posting on social media. I am consistently posting on my stories. I haven't been doing a feed post as often as I would like. So that's my goal. I post to Instagram story six days a week because like I mentioned, I want to take one day off for sure. I don't want to share a whole lot in terms of finances, our personal finances or anything like that. I just feel like that's something I would like to keep private um, between my husband and I. What I do want to share with you guys though is um, once I do start getting my paychecks from my PTA jobs, I will be putting money towards my 401k each paycheck. One of the companies that I work for to match, I think it's like 6% of your 401k i'm going to be taking full advantage of that um and then i want to save x amount per check so i'm going to be like i said building my caseload from here on um with the goal of getting to 30 visits per week so i don't know exactly what my checks are going to look like because i don't know what my caseload is going to be just yet I just know that i have a mind to save and set aside money as some of you might know, my goal is to go to physical therapy school, so I am currently a physical therapist assistant. I got my bachelor's degree, completed all of my prerequisites except for one. I'm going to do that next spring, um, and I am right there ready to apply to physical therapy school next year. But my goal from here until then is just to continue saving, putting money aside for tuition, um, because unfortunately it does cost a good amount of money. And then next thing is eight no spend days cannot wait to challenge myself to do this and i mean like no spend on those days okay so now on to other i want to make sure that i continue up with my cleaning routine so tidying the home each night even if it's for 15 to 20 minutes just doing as much as i can and then calling it a night i want to sew one new project so i've slowly been working on creating a little like a little wallet for myself and i'll update you guys in a future vlog next thing is to read five books so that can be physical or through my e-reader because i have a kindle um and i'll definitely update you guys through the vlogs of like what i'm reading right now i'm currently reading love on the brain by ali hazelwood and i'm liking it so far and it takes place in houston which is really cool second book um her debut novel was the love hypothesis and it was like my favorite book ever i loved it so much one more random goal that i want to add and that's to not have any starbucks for the rest of the year. Like I do not want to have any Starbucks because I, I did get myself an espresso machine. I'm just thinking of how much money we can save and honestly like that's the reason we got the Nespresso because I felt like I wanted to upgrade from a Keurig. Huge upgrade by the way. I love it so much. It was so worth the investment. And then the pods come out to about a dollar something. You can make good drinks at home. So far I feel like the drinks have been coming out good. I'm still testing them, trying out new recipes. Um, so that's something I'll also be sharing with the vlog. But that is that on my goals and I'm so freaking excited. I definitely wanna translate, like put all these goals into maybe Evernote or create a Google Doc or maybe an Excel sheet. That would be kind of cool. All right guys, so that concludes all of my goals for this upcoming month. Now we're gonna jump into a healthy grocery haul so you can hopefully get some ideas of some things to get on your next grocery trip. So to start off, we got a tons of fruits and veggies. We've got some spinach, broccoli, and a broccoli medley. We've got some bell peppers, some mini cucumbers, regular sized cucumbers, oranges. We refilled our 
apple basket apparently because I used to hold apples and kiwis but we're just on an apple kick right now. I used that pan back there to fill up with mangoes because Joshua bought so many mangoes. Got some bananas, avocados, tomatoes, some bread. We're trying to switch to, I think it's whole grain. We're trying to switch to whole grain bread and trying that out. I got some onions, some wheat thins, granola, um, some skinny popcorn. This is our favorite rice, Ben's Original. We really like this one. We always buy like three packs at a time because we go through it pretty quick. Oven roasted turkey for sandwiches. We've got some ground turkey, some frozen chicken pa chicken patties, and some chicken, salmon. We also have shrimp, but I already put that in the fridge. We um, Joshua got these jalapeno salmon burgers. Those are so good from HEB. Um, and then his spicy ketchup. Uh, almond milk and then some hummus. One of my coworkers for my last job put me on this and it is so good. Like if you have not tried this hummus, you definitely need to. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the grocery haul and um, I can't wait to show you guys like different meals that I make with this. And like I've told you guys before, I keep my meals super simple, but I'm gonna try my best to utilize all of these things make sure it doesn't go to waste so stay tuned um definitely stick around for like days of my life where i'm showing different meal ideas and stuff like that I got all these flowers from heb and they're so beautiful i'm gonna do and i just feel like this is something that really brings me joy um there's just something so special that flowers bring to a home we already have really awesome plants um, but I think adding flowers just brings another vibe to it. So the showers and the snow, and all you always seem to grow in the places that This is all of these different arrangements and I don't know, I'm not a florist or anything, but I think they look cute. This one's kind of throwing me off. I don't know if it's because it's so sparse, but um it's fine. It's kind of a dainty look. I considered cutting them and putting them here, but whenever I trim them and make them shorter, I think I'm going to switch them to a smaller base. Right, guys, thank you so, so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and I definitely want to do more of these. I honestly just feel so inspired and ready to start the new month. Let me know if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more of these as well. If you haven't joined the fam yet, I definitely would love for you to subscribe and join the community, and I'll see you guys in the next video.